What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we've got a brand new Azure location and inventory review for the weekend of February 16th to the 19th and so let's get started. And first things first, Zur is going to be located in the tower hangar. All right, let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, for the exotics, we do have the Lord of Wolves. Once dominated the Crucible now, maybe not so much, but definitely something worth picking up if you don't have it. Then we have the Gwizen Vest. Really doesn't see a ton of play right now, um, but resil I mean, it's okay. 62 Resilience Spike, you know, no, I've seen worse. Then we have the Worm God Caresses here for the Titan with an insane roll. The, like, okay, so basically these got buffed. Every single melee kill is going to increase melee damage. And these got buffed while Syntheseps got nerfed. And so a lot of people switched from the Syntheseps to the Worm Gods within their Titan melee builds. And again, 68 with resilience and strength, guys. If it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you 100% buy these. Oh my goodness. Like, I, I kind of like lost my train of thought at the beginning just seeing these. Like, these are absolutely fantastic. You want to pick these up. You want to run. You want to call your friend who hasn't played in a year, but who was a Titan main. Get on here. Get these Worm God Caresses. Uh, this is extremely good. Again, this, like, after getting buffed, this is what a lot of people use in their Banner of War Strand Melee builds, for example. Uh, what a fantastic, fantastic pickup. Now, oh, jeez. Okay, extremely spiky, but unfortunately, no one wants the mobility and intellect spike, you know what I'm saying? So, man, incredibly uh, spiky. You can buy these as a meme to show your friends, but yeah, like, in, in all honesty, these are not the spikes you want with the Fellwinter's Helm. Uh, you know, you'd want something like Strength, you'd want Recovery for the Warlock and stuff like that, so, ah, no thank you. Now, moving on to the weaponry here, guys. Uh, we do have the No Reprive with, oh my goodness, dude, Triple Tap plus Focused Fury. It's a pinpoint slug frame shotgun. This is a very, very good roll. I mean, this is like... You know, an arguable god roll, you just want a magazine extension perk here normally. But I mean, triple tap getting your rounds back, focus fury massively increasing your damage. This is like, a, you know, if you're a new player, this is a great like DPS uh, shotgun roll right here, honestly, for PvE. Then we have a perpetual gut shot Aikilos. Not really interested in that. A snapshot Vorpal spare rations. No, thank you. A moving target multi-kill clip tarnished metal. Honestly, that might not be the worst for like a PvP scout rifle roll, but eh, we're kind of splitting hairs there. Now, this is a bit of a banger roll, to be honest, dude. Aikilos, which is a good shotgun, you've got the extended mag perk, and then you've got Grave Robber, where melee final blows reload the weapon, and Swashbuckler, which is going to give you a scaling weapon damage bonus every time you get a kill, but if you get a melee kill, it goes to the max, like, 35% bonus damage. So, one melee kill, you get a huge boost of damage with Swashbuckler, and you instantly reload your magazine. Like, it's not gonna be maybe the most meta, but it is an absolute wombo combo right here, and a very fun shotgun roll for PvE at that. Then we have the Interference here, uh, with auto-loading plus swashbuckler. Well, we just learned that grenade launchers are getting some big PvE buffs, and, you know, uh, non-spike grenade launchers are going to be a lot better, so having something like uh, augmented drum to increase the magazine size, like, that may actually be the new meta. Auto-loading plus a damage increase, not that bad. Swashbuckler, you can definitely do better, but still, really not a terrible roll there. And then we have a just-in-case with Wellspring Thresh. Well, if you want to get all your abilities back for uh, schwanging your sword, this is the role for you. Now, on the other side here, the one other weapon is going to be the Hawkmoon. We have a Snapshot Sights Hawkmoon. Uh, we do have Extended Barrel for more range, but overall, eh, I, I, it's alright. Like, it's alright at best. Now, going to the armor here, we have the Forged Machinist set. Let's check Light.gg for the rarity. Alright, so this set was added all the way back in Season 5 and then reintroduced in Season 14, and it's a fairly rare set with only 35% of Guardians having access to this very helmet. Not super rare, but definitely the more common sets we see in the 40 plus percentile range. Now, 
let's check the actual rolls of that armor. Uh, Gauntlets, wow, 66 with a huge resilience spike, like no mobility, a little bit of a spike in the rest. That These are fantastic gauntlets here. Um, same exact spiel for the chest. You have the same, almost same stat distribution here. Again, pretty good chest right there. Uh, a 68 for the helmet, but unfortunately way too much mobility for the Titan. And then 63, kind of all over the place, but uh, let's go and check the Warlock. All right, for the Warlock, gauntlets, mid, chest, oh, not mid, that's very good. 66, huge recovery spike, a little bit of intellect, like I'd rather see that in discipline to be honest, but hey, we're splitting hairs here, this is a very good piece. And then the helmet, too much mobility, not quite as spiky. And, oh, extremely spiky. Again, we got the resilience and strength spike. If only the Titan got this, you could get like these and then that, and you'd be rolling in a melee build. But still, these are pretty good legs. Let's go check the Hunter. All right, for the Hunter, let's see these gauntlets. 67 with a big strength spike. Well, not huge, but yeah, these are decent. Uh, 63 is all right. <laughs> And then 64, got some spikes like mobility, recovery, strength, uh, it's alright again. 62, again, kind of kind of mid. I think the main highlight this weekend, guys, is these absolutely insane worm gods. Run, don't walk to get these. Like, these are incredible. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.